writing down some things that need to be changed within my small business and even YouTube as well. If you guys didn't watch the last video, I highly recommend it. It was a full week in the life of how I'm growing a small business while also working a full-time job. In that vlog, I talked about how I am struggling right now. Um, this It kind of happened this time last year as well, and I'm struggling with a lot in terms of growth, and things are really slow right now in terms of like not really getting orders on Etsy, and that's fine. I was actually talking to my mum about this, and she even said like it seems to always happen for me where I'll have a couple months that are really slow and bad and I get down about it and then like the next few months after that will be really good and lots of good things will happen so <laughs> I know this is just kind of a process but something I was thinking about last night actually just because it's about a couple bad months doesn't mean that I can just sit back and do nothing about it like I should really be trying to like pinpoint what areas of my business and YouTube right now aren't working or what I need to work on more there are quite a few things that have been bothering me for a while and I won't lie I have been slacking in terms of certain areas it's not laziness it's just I'm very busy I do work full-time so it can get a lot sometimes and I really just kind of want to start making sure that I take time to do the smaller stuff that are just really easy to forget or push put it push aside so I was writing down a couple of things um, of like things I'm current like issues I'm currently facing what needs to be improved um, and then on this side of the sheet I'm gonna write down things like how to solve these issues basically that I'm having so the first one is make more short form content for the longest time I haven't really enjoyed short form content especially like reels and stuff however I really do want to be more active on TikTok and Instagram I haven't posted on TikTok for since like January or something it's bad the thing is I feel like with short form content and this is something I'm going to write down um, as a solution is with short form content I've always forced myself to post every day or every week and I just find short form content for me is just a little bit harder to do because I struggle to find things to talk about or things to make short form content about. I'm not like really good at condensing down things into 30 seconds however I have decided I really want to start doing like mini day in the life so like just kind of like midweek show you guys like going to work and like what I do for my small business when I get back from work or even if I'm just going out for the day maybe I'll take my iPad and like draw more short form content is definitely on there but I want to work it in a way that it's gonna be manageable for me and my workload which kind of actually goes into one of my other points that I made was that I'm really bad at promoting and stuff um like when I'm doing launches or sales I'm just really bad at promoting it I'll put it on my story and then I won't put it anywhere else I need to start making sure that I'm making carousels and all that kind of stuff and really really try to promote it another thing I want to do is I want to be more organized and this is gonna kind of come into like doing schedules for Instagram and stuff like that I'm not I haven't been very organized recently I haven't really I used to have like calendars and spreadsheets and I have none of that right now it's kind of bad especially for things like stock I want to start making stock spreadsheets anyway because when I do markets and conventions I want to start having it where I can like tick it off rather than having to write it down each time more active on Etsy weirdly enough because when I don't get orders I don't really go on Etsy it's really not good <laughs> It's so stupid. I just that's been very recent that I've stopped really going on Etsy as much But I want to start getting on there a lot more um, Whether it's to do like a clearance sale or whether it's to do I don't know like makeup Maybe I'll like do some like special like mystery boxes or something or even just updating my titles and descriptions um, Is quite important. I'm um, like kind of like search engine optimization for Etsy and stuff or just looking at competitors and seeing what other people are doing I need to start doing a lot more of that stuff. It has been lacking a lot recently. I used to do it all the time 
And then I've also got some stuff for YouTube. I want to make my YouTube videos a little more entertaining. I feel like when it comes to YouTube videos, I feel very stuck in this room a lot, which I mean, this is where my business grows from. I do business vlogs. That makes sense. However, I've actually seen or a lot of you guys have commented on my videos that you want to see more art style kind of segments in my vlogs. Um, you want to see more lifestyle segments in my vlogs. It's not going to turn into a lifestyle channel, don't worry. It's still always going to be about my small business. But I think in the last video, I really enjoyed going to like a cafe and kind of like doing some art there and kind of bringing you guys along for that. So I kind of want to start just thinking of ways I can make my vlogs a little more entertaining so I'm not just sat in my room at my desk every single video. If you guys have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see in vlogs or anything like that then please let me know down below. Yeah those are all I've got so far for issues that I'm facing. I'm sure I will think up more. Um, right now I'm going to start writing down my solutions. I just kind of talked you guys through them just there but I'm gonna write them down and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to like stick these up somewhere so I can see them because a lot of the times I will write things down like things I want to change or videos I want to do and I'll forget about it because it's in a book under my desk <laughs> it's like I, I forget it's there. I just came downstairs I'm just kind of getting a coffee right now um I finished my little notes um I did like all the solutions and stuff. Each one's kind of like an issue that I'm facing and then I wrote down like ways I can combat them and stuff. I'll be honest, a lot of it feels like just reminding myself of things that I was previously doing anyway that I've just started lacking on. I used to like journal a lot and I used to like write down things that would help me in my small business like to grow and stuff like that and it would help me just kind of get my thoughts together I guess just so I could plan better and like it really helps me a lot to grow ever since I stopped doing these things I feel like I haven't been growing as much in some areas so a lot of it is just like reminding myself of things that I need to do um that I'm lacking in or slacking on <laughs> um so yeah I feel a little bit better um about that I feel like I've got some actual ideas down now I really what I want to do today is I kind of want to put them into into place I kind of want to make like a schedule and start making some spreadsheets and stuff I used to use notion quite a lot and again it's another thing that I've been slacking on this past month I haven't really been using it even though I really like it it's so good for like decluttering your mind space and keeping things all organized I'm probably actually gonna work a little bit today to get my notion um back to like updated basically i want to update it i want to get some of my ideas down and make a schedule um start scheduling um videos and stuff in maybe even update my video idea catalog that i used to have yeah because i think a lot of this the what's going on in this slump right now is i mean fair enough I'm not getting orders you know youtube's quite slow right now that happens it happens but i think this time around i'm dealing with it badly in terms of how i've dealt with other things before usually i'll deal with things in a much better way in terms of just kind of still keep I, I keep going even if things aren't looking like really great right now but this time around i just feel like i'm in a slump i just feel like i can't get out of it but that's hopefully gonna change once I just get all of my thoughts out of my head and onto my notion. I start scheduling stuff in, scheduling stuff that needs to be done. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better already. <laughs> So this is my notion. Um, I have a bunch of like things here, like I have a 2024 to-do list and like goals and stuff. These are my small business goals, do three cons, which I did one in March and I've got two more coming up um, this year. So that will be a win come uh, November, I think. O October is my last one, I think. I draw every week in 2024. That didn't work out, but I've been much busier than I expected to be. So that is okay. Fair. I did try um, signing up for them again and still no dice on that front. It's been very hard. Open a Shopify. Um, In terms of like sales that I'm getting right now, 
now from Etsy and stuff, I really haven't like getting that many sales. So I'm not ready to open a Shopify yet, but this could be something that I do like December like time or November time. Um, for sure. And get a P.O. box. I did look into this. I know a lot of you guys have asked if I have a P.O. box because you want to send me stuff. And I really appreciate that. Um, they are expensive. They are really expensive. So I don't want to get one just yet. Um, but I'm working towards that as well. Uh, probably over 100 products in my shop. No, I no. <laughs> Maybe by the end of the year, but um, I think I'm still only on like I've got 64 active listings right now. I've got just like a bunch of new like stock and stuff that I wanted to plan for. Like I've got, I got I've actually got like three out of four of these. I wanted a weekly planner, which I do actually have now. I don't have a sticker book. I don't. I have regular planners, but I don't have. I'm actually gonna stop doing planners. My planners have not been doing well. I really like them, but they don't sell, and I don't know why. I maybe it's an oversaturated product. Like. Lots of people see me do planners and stuff. I really like my planners, but even my weekly planners, I had a lot of hope for them and I haven't actually sold, I think I sold one. So I'm gonna stop doing planners for now and kind of reevaluate that. Um, in terms of like other stuff, I really do want more sticker sheets. That's why I got the silhouette. Um, glass tumblers and mouse pads are probably not gonna be this year. Well, mouse, pa mouse pads might be towards the end of the year. I am still contemplating getting a heat press, so that could still happen. My Lex launch, I'm planning to do sticky notes, washi tape, hopefully sticky notes anyway, um, washi tape, um, more skinny tumblers and more mugs, and that's going to be, and more sticker sheets of course, because um, I got my silhouette, so that's kind of going to be my focus for that, and I've got a couple of like, yeah, I actually, I, get, I got that, I got that, and I also got this, okay, awesome. Yeah, I, I kind of want to try a button press as well, so I might try that this year, because I think it'd be really good for conventions and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not completely sold on it yet, it's just kind of like a, oh, it'll be kind of fun. But it's not something I really want. The heat press is definitely something I want after I've done my sticker sheets and stickers and started like kind of getting in the process of making stickers at home and all that. Like I'll probably be looking towards the heat press next. So probably after my next launch. So maybe October time this year, I'll start thinking about this. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of um, hopefully changes for the better. A lot of them are just really small stuff though. It's just small stuff that I've let slip through the cracks which isn't good. My schedule, I just realized looking at it on a calendar, I have, I have five weeks for my next convention. I don't know why, I didn't think it was that close. I think I think for some reason I'm still trapped in May right now. I kept I keep telling myself like, oh my convention's up for like another two months. Mm. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I have a, I have a lot to still sell and stuff, but I'm just I'm gonna have to get my butt in gear and do some designs for that. I keep doing loads of designs and starting them, but I just don't finish them. And it's not that I don't want to, I think it's just recently because I've been in this slump. It's, I've been finding it hard to like what I'm producing, I guess. So I keep not finishing them because I'm not that happy with them. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I need to pull myself out of it though because we need to get some convention stuff done. We need to get convention prep started. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to put some time away to work on some designs then because yikes. Here's my Etsy calendar. I made like two calendars. So this is a new calendar. I want a calendar specifically for Etsy. So things like fixing the titles and descriptions as you can see, like setting side days for that, like doing like when I when I want to do like sales and stuff, I really want to do a clearance sale tomorrow. So that's something that I put in, but this one's not going to be like as content heavy like there's not going to be a lot on the schedule but i do want to start scheduling things like this so i don't forget i am really bad at remembering to do sales and stuff like that as well so that's something i really need to combat i also went on a canva and i made some instagram story um kind of backgrounds because a lot of the time when i want to make announcements and stuff i don't really have anything that I can use and like just to put some text there like for example I tend to announce my YouTube videos on my Instagram story and it always like I, I don't ha I never have anything to put behind it so I just thought something like this something like this especially like will be quite good for that it's little things like that that have been bothering me lately that I just feel like it's so small but it just makes your brand seem more professional to have things like that 
so in terms of how i'm getting on today i feel a lot better actually um, i've got a little bit of a schedule here i still want to start working on my stock spreadsheet so i'm gonna do that probably after dinner okay so it's currently around half full i'm actually i got my instagram templates done i'm actually gonna take like a break for an hour i'm getting pretty tired um i did kind of make a start on my spreadsheet but i literally only just did the color at the top <laughs> guys it is sunday it's kind of late i didn't mean to like get started with work so late it's like it's like 10 o'clock which i guess isn't that late but sundays are usually like quite busy for me so i don't usually get a lot of time to like work on small business stuff haven't left a lot of time for me to get stuff done so i'm kind of wondering how i can combat that maybe because i really want to get um a design done a day if you guys didn't see my recent live stream, my most recent live stream that I did, I was working on a design. I really like it. Um, I really want to get it finished today. What I'm doing is I'm kind of just drawing each component separately. I'm going to turn them into a sticker sheet. Um, I'll be doing more like sketches and stuff for the sticker sheet. The sticker sheet will have more in it. But I'm going to turn them into a sticker sheet, a tumbler design, and also a mug. Potentially a coaster, but because I only have a handheld heat press, I honestly don't know if I'm going to do coasters. Like any, well, more than I only have one in my shop, so I might wait until I get like a proper heat press. But yeah, if I can at least get this done and just get the parts of this drawing that I need done, I'll be able to really easily rearrange it for each different like um, product that I want to use it for. So that would give me like three new products, not only for my convention, but also for my next launch that I'll be doing. And I really like this design as well. And I, yeah, I have a, I have a lot I need to do. <laughs> I also today, actually, I want to update my profile picture and do a sale. So... <laughs> I <laughs> might have to do some of this tomorrow as well. My vlogs don't usually run into Monday. I do have Monday off, but I'm usually editing the whole day. Like, I'm usually editing the vlog that I'm doing currently. But, but that might not be the case tomorrow. I might have to push it over into Monday a little bit if I want to get some of these designs done. I did make that spreadsheet last night and it actually made me feel so much better. I still need to do the stock count and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to have time this weekend might be half it might have to be like a next weekend sort of thing or maybe if i can get it done during the week um we'll see but yeah i did do that spreadsheet and it made me feel so much better it was um quite quite nice seeing all my stock in like a spreadsheet um again and i also added notion calendar to my taskbar on my computer so it's always going to be there now so i don't really have an excuse not to look at my calendar and stuff so hopefully because of that i'll have a better like schedule in terms of short form content on instagram because i've already put down a couple of days where i'm gonna be filming it's really hard though because what i want to do is i want to do some day in the lives but obviously when i do day in the lives as soon as i wake up i have to pick up my camera pretty much so i can show like eating breakfast and stuff unfortunately a lot of the time my brain doesn't start working until after i've had coffee and that's what i'll remember oh crap i was supposed to do a day in the life today <laughs> so it is like 11 o'clock so the most important thing i think to do today is update my branding and do a sale on etsy i think those are very those, those are two very important things i am gonna work on my design once i'm done this hopefully it won't take too long but this these are like little things that i've wanted to do for a while and once they're done they're done i'm not gonna have to think about it again for a while i'm really excited to update my like my banner and my profile picture just giving my profile picture one last little glance making sure i'm happy with it Okay, I'm gonna do it on Etsy first. I'm gonna update the Etsy shop first because I need to update the banner as well. So we'll do that first and then we'll do YouTube and then we'll do like Instagram and TikTok. So there is my new Etsy banner. It looks so, so much better now. So much more on brand. And then I'm gonna change my profile picture. Bam, nice. I won't lie, I think a lot of the reason why I've hesitated to change my profile picture is because it's just a little scary. 
that profile picture I've had since for like a year, a year and a half now or something. It's I had a profile picture before it, but it only lasted a couple of months. I realized I did not like that profile picture, so I changed it. And now um, I'm changing it again. And it's a little scary because I'm like, well, what if I'm not happy with this one in a couple months? But I think my art has changed so much. I, I do like my old one. I think that's why I'm kind of hesitating to change it because I still kind of like it. But my art is better. Like the cat in that picture, my profile picture, always bothered me. It's not a very well-drawn cat. <laughs> it's not really how I draw cats anymore. Um, so I decided to kind of do something that looks more like me because like my, that profile picture I had like really short hair when I drew it my hair was like up to here now my hair is like all the way down here I had really short hair so it's more up to date with how I look now as well as like the cat in the profile picture is like more up to date with how I draw cats now and stuff as well so it is a good thing it is also just a little bit scary <laughs> I'm a little unsure. It looks so different. I'm not sure. To be honest, for my Etsy shop as well, I feel like one thing I could definitely do or consider if I don't like having the profile picture for my Etsy shop is my little logo that I have. I could very easily just use that. It's just, it's different. I think it's going to take a while for me to get used to. Okay, I'm happy with that. That looks really cute. Lovely. Like I said, if I really, this is definitely going to be my YouTube picture from now on, but if I really don't f like it for my Etsy shop, I can always just take this and put it like in a smaller version of that, but I just quite like having my little mascot there as well. It's just something, something a bit more interesting than just a plain old logo, but maybe it won't work for my Etsy shop. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to think about it, but I will leave it as that. For now, I think it looks really cute, much more on brand. I am a lot, lot happier with this. That's awesome now for youtube <laughs> oh no okay that's not gonna work i'm gonna have to make that smaller then i didn't think about that i will have to change this up so it hasn't quite fit in my youtube thingy i completely forgot I, it's because i drew on a square background and i remember thinking to myself oh i'm gonna have to make it like so it fits in a round um thing for youtube um that's not really gonna work if it's just a little, if I can make the cat just a little bit further down, that'd be perfect. So I'll give that a go. I will fix that up. Okay, so for my social medias, what I'm doing is I've sized it down and then I'm just going to like extend it essentially. So I'll have to redraw some of these parts, but squishing like, I don't want to squish it down, but like just making it a little smaller should mean that it'll all fit into the round circle in the middle. Um, I just completely didn't think about that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to quickly fix this before we get onto any, um drawings for today okay so change of plans um <laughs> i completely forgot something was happening today and my auntie sorry this camera angle i know i'm like holding so many things i'm having to take them all downstairs um my auntie knocked at the door and i completely forgot she's moving today and she asked me to cat sit <laughs> I had to go upstairs and quickly get my stuff, um, but I'm cat sitting now. I need to, okay, she's like, she's right back there. She's hiding, she's a bit scared, but that that's, that's not my cat. <laughs> this is, this is Bean, everyone say hello to Bean. Uh, <laughs> I'm cat sitting now. She's actually not been too bad. She's cried a little bit. Obviously, it's very stressful for her right now. Um, while they're like getting moved in, my whole family went to help them move in, but obviously, I was like, I don't really want to like leave the cat to just be stressed and be alone and stuff. So I thought I'll just look after her. Um, she's probably just going to be sat there under there the whole time. Um, but poor thing. She's uh, obviously quite stressed, hiding away right now, but that's okay. Um, it just means that I'm going to have to draw down here pretty much. Um, I'm going to still be getting my profile picture done. I actually, when I went upstairs, I actually, um, I, I've done a sale on Etsy, so I'm doing like a clearance sale right now. It'll still be going by the time you're watching this video, if you're watching it right as it comes out. It's going to be going on until Sunday. Basically, I'm just going to be doing a huge kind of clearance sale, just kind of getting some products um, that don't sell very well out there. There's a couple of products that do sell quite well that I've added in anyway, just because I would like to see them get more sales. So yeah, I've done that. That is up. Um, running now. I also was able to use my new template that I made yesterday for my Instagram story to help promote my sale that I'm currently doing, which it looked really good. So I'm really, really happy with that. So my cats are actually not here right now. They're not in the room. So we're keeping them all separated right now. So Bean kind of has the whole run of downstairs. Um, 
my cats to be honest Suki was here like because we didn't know she was bringing the cat over my auntie has been a bit like <laughs> she's things are going wrong today for her so she just kind of was like can you just take the cat like she showed up with the cat in a crate and she's like please take the cat <laughs> so we were like yeah sure Suki was actually in the living room when when uh, the crate was put down on the floor and Suki was actually fine Bean did growl at her a little bit but Bean is like an only cat so she's probably just not used to socializing as much as Suki is because Suki is like one of three she has like a brother and a sister so she's used to other cats a bit more so she actually wasn't bad with it but Bean was a bit like she's growling her she's scared you know she's been taken out of her home um but yeah <laughs> that happened it's been like for half an hour um, since that happened, it was a real big shock because I just, I didn't really know what to do. I was just like, oh, okay, there's a cat here now. I completely forgot you were moving house. What's going on? <laughs> but um, I am gonna focus on getting my profile picture done so I can get them up on social media today and hopefully we can start getting that design done as well. I have about three hours-ish until, three hours and a half, I'd say, until I have to leave to go to D&D &D later. So that, that's enough time to work with. That's plenty of time. This is the progress I've made, so I've just kind of elongated it. The cat is actually kind of done. I do just need to add like the shading and stuff here. Um, Bean is still hiding over there. Suki and everyone is scratching at the door trying to get in. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just kind of distracting right now just because of all the cats going on. Poor Bean, like I really was hoping that the cats wouldn't scratch me out the door to be let in. And I did consider letting them in, but she's already had such a stressful day. I really don't want to put more stress on her. Yeah, I've been a bit distracted in terms of like just making sure. I've been going over and checking on her every now and then. She's like really, she was kind of like, she's under the desk. She was kind of further forward though. Now she's like right back against the wall. I thought she was doing okay because she seemed to be like kind of sleeping at one point. So I thought she was kind of chilling out. She hasn't like been meowing or anything, but she is like right back against the wall. So I feel a bit bad for her. I think she's just really scared and stressed. So I've been a bit distracted, but I'm hoping I can get this profile picture done and get this up um, on to my social media pages before I go to D&D &D later. It shouldn't hopefully take that much longer. Again, all I need to do is the shading, maybe, you know, light, fix a bit of the line art. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's currently like, I think two o'clock. Yeah, it's quarter to two. Um, so I have about an hour or something to finish this off. Okay, so it is 10 past three. I'm gonna be leaving now for d and I think I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm going to finish off. I finished my profile picture that has been expanded and I'm gonna come home tomorrow and finish it off as in like, put them up on my social medias and stuff. I still need to announce my sale on YouTube. I only did it on Instagram stories for now. But other than that, I pretty much got it done didn't get quite finished because my auntie came around to pick up the cat and I went with her to help her with like the last of her stuff. She's had some like drawers and stuff left over. Um, so I just kind of went over and I just helped them move a couple of the heavy stuff in. Um, and then I came back and now it's time to leave. So <laughs> bit of a hectic day. I completely forgot that they were moving in and that I also promised to help them move in. So yeah, <laughs> that didn't go exactly to plan, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm probably gonna Come back tomorrow morning and get it all finished. My Etsy is updated. I did my sale. I fixed my profile picture for my social medias. We made good progress considering the cards we've been dealt today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> it's Monday morning. We're getting a rare Monday morning filming session in today. Uh, I usually don't film on Mondays because usually right about now I'd be editing or starting to edit this vlog on Mondays. I try to get it like fully cut down. So then tomorrow after work, I'm not like having to, you know, spend from like, five until like nine o'clock editing a video <laughs> but because of what happened yesterday and how hectic it was i'm gonna spend a little bit this morning finishing up the things that i was doing yesterday so finishing my profile picture getting them ready for social media there was something else i believe i wanted to get done i can't remember what it was <laughs> i feel like i'm forgetting something now oh i think the other thing i wanted to do was work on that design i think what i might do is 
if I have time today I might work on it I just don't know because obviously I have to start editing and stuff as well so yesterday I did um fix this so this is now well I, I just kind of brought them and went to the center so the cat should hopefully be visible now when I put it into like a round um like when it when it goes into like a round profile picture hopefully the cat will still be there now hopefully it'll be in frame um it I moved them from like I think it was like it was like a cut off here so I've all of this I've added and then for the cat it was like up to here and then I've added this much more now so hopefully that'll be enough I'm not 100% convinced I will have to test it first to see if it actually does fit in like the round profile picture ratio but if it doesn't then I'll have to move them down again and then add more onto it so it might be a little bit of a process this morning but I have a couple of hours to finish this off this is something I really want to get done because I have put it off for a while now oh, I hope I can start editing before 12 I usually have like a lunch break at around 12 half 12 to eat some food and stuff um, I'm hoping that I can get started on my editing before that I usually on Mondays try to like stop editing and edit around three or four o'clock just because there's not a lot of time during the week where I can have breaks I really try to make Monday afternoon like the one time that I have a break like completely to myself like not even like going to see people like I'm an introvert so I really need to like it's kind of like my afternoon where I kind of recharge my battery ready for like a week of full-time job and all that stuff okay let's see if this works I hope it does oh I that's another thing I need to do actually I just remembered what I was forgetting um, I haven't announced my my sale, my clearance sale on YouTube yet. I did it on Instagram stories, but I do like to do it on YouTube just because that is where the majority of my audience is. Okay, so I've just gotten the profile picture into YouTube. Okay, so the cat is still slightly cut off. However, because I added like a little bit extra onto the, like my mascot as well, I think I can crop it a little bit because this, this here was like technically where it cut off anyway so I'm okay with it cropping off a little bit of that and then you can kind of see the cat peeking through it kind of you kind of won't be able to see its nose and stuff though which is a little bit annoying I don't know if maybe I should can't crop I don't want to crop it too much but that's how it will look which looks good I'm just wondering if maybe I should again make it smaller just so it fits in a bit nicer but I really do like it like you can see there's the two there's the comparisons this is my old art the cat's just really like the cat is just really like not great <laughs> and then there's my new one it's just a little bit more it's just a little bit nicer I think it's just a little bit more interesting and crisp and it's also like the background on this one it's just blue with a couple of like stars this has actually got clouds and stuff so it kind of matches my banner as well so I do I do like it a lot more but you guys let me know in the comments what, what one do you prefer actually I'd like to hear you guys thoughts but it's also just up to date with like me having long hair now and stuff as well so <laughs> yeah I'm gonna publish this now. Okay, there it is. There is my new look. What do you guys think? It looks really dark on camera, so I hope it doesn't look too dark. Obviously, you guys can see it underneath this video, so you can see for yourself what it looks like. It looks a lot brighter on my monitor. The camera's just picking it up really, um, it's just picking it up really dark because um, it's a screen, but there we go. Looking good. I really like it. My branding has come such a long way from like what it used to look like. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I finally got my profile picture in my banners on Etsy and everything updated. Um, I've organized myself a little more by making a calendar. I actually just bought a clipboard so I can also put my um, note my weekly planners and stuff up on the wall so I can see them better. Um, I made a stock list. I still need to update it, but I will probably get around to that during the week or next weekend. I'm actually feeling a little better after this weekend. I still think it's going to take some time, but I'm glad that I've got some idea of what I can be doing in the meantime while I'm not really growing as much right now and some things I can do to continue um, to grow my business. So I do feel a lot better. I'm really glad, even though I didn't really get any designs done this weekend, I'm glad I got those little things done and I am feeling a little better now. If you guys like this video, then please subscribe and also check out my last video where I did a full week in the life of growing a small business and also working full time. It was a really fun vlog and I put a lot of effort into it, so I'd really appreciate if you checked out that video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.